Good morning, good morning. Welcome to this edition of Monday Motivation. Uh, I've got some important information I want to share with you guys this morning. I'm at the beautiful Lake Murray here in Columbia, South Carolina. First off, let me start off by, um, <clears throat> they've got something back over here where you can actually walk across the dam here. If you look, it's about a three mile walk, but <clears throat> start off by telling you a story this morning or at least you know reminiscing about um childhood right when i was a kid i remember that you used to be able to go to the corner store the bodega right you used to be able to go to the corner store and i remember you purchasing like um potato chips and things like um now laters um etc right I and mean, the cost of those items you used to be able to get a bag of potato chips for like 25 cents you would get a pack of now laters, like six now laters in there for 10 cents uh, and, a, and a soda. The sodas were 50 cent, right? And, and you had all of these different varieties. Like if you wanted to get a Pepsi or if you wanted to get a Coca-Cola or if you wanted to get a Fago, it didn't matter. It was like 50 cents for a soda, right? You can get two of them for a dollar. Go to the store nowadays and um, buy yourself a bag of potato chips. When you go to the, to, to the store um, where you fuel up and you get your gas and stuff like that, this we're talking about a convenience store purchase, right? That bag of potato chips might cost you like a dollar and some change or a dollar, right? You go to get you a soda. When's the last time you purchased a soda at the gas station, all right? Or a, um, a uh, Gatorade. Those things are extremely expensive. It's not costing 50 cents or 25 cents anymore. And definitely you cannot buy a pack of nowadays for 10 cents. What is that called? That's inflation. That, that's the cost over time are going up, right? So today what I wanted to do is, is give you some tips about how to curb inflation, all right? Infl in, the inflation rate came out recently and it was actually 6.5%. 8%, 6.8%. So for, for talking terms, let's just talk about 7% inflation. That means things have gotten 7% more expensive throughout the course of the year, right? It's at a 40 year high. In the past 40 years, this is the highest that it's ever been. Now, I'm not I'm not getting into this to talk to you guys to scare anyone or to, you know, doom and gloom you or anything like that. This is reality. This is something that we need to be talking about, something that um, I want to talk to you about so that I can give you some tips, give you some information so that you can think about things a little bit differently and so that you can be better prepared. You can actually, um, you know, financially be in a, a better place. So let's get into it. Right. I put down some talking points. I'm going to go through. Right. Now, um, did you get a raise on your job this year? If you got a raise on your job this year, and if it was less than, um, if it was less than 7%, then that means essentially you lost money. Say that again. If you didn't get a 7%, 10% raise on your job this year, if it's less than 7%, you essentially are losing money. You're getting paid less money to work at your job today. All right. So, um, now, consumers are the ones being affected by this. If you're out there buying products and services with your money that you make from your income, I don't care if it's from your income comes from your job or if the income comes from, um, you know, stocks and bonds or if it comes from any type of source. It doesn't matter what source the money's coming from. That means you're making your money is worth less money. Right. So the consumer, the person that's going out there and buying products and services is actually making less money. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about ways that we can save that 7%. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to put a comment down below of ways that you can actually save that 7%. All right. Because essentially, if you're not making more money, then you need to figure out a way to save that 7% by changing your spending habits, you know, as a consumer. Right. We all consume and buy things. So <clears throat> the first thing I have down for you guys is um, to pay off debt. When you pay off debt, money that you owe on credit cards, money that you owe on a vehicle, money that you owe on your house, whatever, you are essentially saving money on a monthly basis. You use that money to cover some of those costs of inflation. The next one I got for you, membership clubs. I'm a firm believer in membership clubs. Membership clubs like um, Sam's and membership clubs like uh, Costco. You join that membership club, they give you two cards. You literally get two cards. The two cards that you get, one of them goes to your household, one of them goes to another household. Could be your mom, it could be your auntie, whatever. You guys share that membership. Membership costs 40 bucks, 60 bucks, 30 bucks a year for you guys. 
you can get discount gas and you can buy the things that you need on a regular basis in bulk so bulk toilet paper bulk um eggs etc right and you either have a large uh, resource of that at your home or you guys can go shopping together and you can share the cost of that i think you can definitely throughout the year save part of that seven percent by becoming a membership um, member at a uh, membership club purchasing your gas from there make your plans to actually purchase your gas from there and purchase your bulk items things that you're going to need throughout the course of the month purchase them in bulk from there and use those items all right here i got another tip for you all right when to fill up your gas tank this is something that we do in um in my household right when you fill up your gas tank uh oh we got sun in there all right when you're filling up your gas tank as prices we all most of us have gasoline engines in our vehicles right so when when the prices are trending up because we go to the gas station so often you're starting to notice right that when the prices are trending up and things are getting more expensive the ga gas is getting more expensive per gallon you want to fill up your tank at a half a tank don't let it get all the way down because guess if you wait another day or two gas might be another five or ten cents per gallon right so when prices are trending up fill it up at a half a tank when prices are trending down you wait a little bit longer all right you can go ahead and fill your tank up when it gets to a fourth of a tank or fill it up when it gets a little bit lower because the prices are dropping five ten cents per day or whatever that's the best time and best way to do that all right another tip for you buy less of your wants and buy more of the things that you need the things that you want all right wait to buy that gold uh bracelet wait to uh do certain things that you don't actually need those things that you want save up money for that and the things that you need spend most of your money on the things that you need so you'll be paying less money in inflation right or inflated costs N next one and the last one i have for you all right um increase your income you can increase your income you can increase your income by um starting a business start a small business and when you start that business or you start providing some type of a service what you can do is you can actually pass off some of those some of that seven percent inflation to your customers to your consumers remember what i said from the beginning right inflation affects consumers it affects it affects people who are actually purchasing products and services so the less you're out there actually spending and purchasing things the less inflation is actually affecting you so do me a favor you guys hit the like button drop a comment down below on ways that people who are watching this video can actually save some of that money that on these inflated costs all right it's a lot of knowledge out there you know something share it in the comments below and um, hit the like comment make sure that uh, if you're not a subscriber to this channel go ahead and subscribe um, as things change and stuff like that, we're going to be dropping a lot of information and we're going to be doing a lot of different things to try to help the community to actually become better aware and, and, um, and use our money in a better way so that we can become um, financially empowered. So um, have a great week. No, I said a lot of information here, but I'm looking forward to hear your comments on this one right here because um, these types of things will help the community to be able to be uh, financially solvent. All right. And it's going to be some great times coming up, man. If you've been doing the right thing on your job, right, then you should be looking to get a pretty good raise. But I don't know if it's going to come to be an actual 7% raise. All right. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to figure out a way to curb some of this inflation and uh, definitely buying less of the things that you want and uh, going out and eating and things like that and actually buying the things that you need and saving up that money and paying off debt. Paying off debt is a huge one. All right. So have a great week, you guys. I'll speak to you later.